20th Century Fox is preparing to dig deeper into their X-Men universe with writer-director Josh Boone's upcoming superhero film, X-Men The New Mutants. The core team was created by Chris Claremont and artist Bob McCloud in the 80s, with mutant names unfamiliar to the general movie-going audience, but very similar to the diehard fans. Taking to his Instagram account yesterday, Boone revealed the lineup of new mutants we can expect to see that include Magic, Wolfsbane, Mirage, Cannonball, Sunspot, and Warlock. Boone recently Recently turned in a new draft of the script, but a release date or green light has yet to be announced. Dennis, what do you think of the new mutants lineup that Josh Boone's is teasing? I like it. It's mostly the original lineup. I ho hopefully uh, with the Mirage, the Native American. Uh mutant character they can get Rooney Mara to, to, to <laughs> star in that role uh you know yeah she fits um hopefully uh the one interesting thing is the sunspot one because we've already yes. seen him days of future past and when Simon Kinberg talked about this movie they were talking about a young adult vibe and they're going to get younger people sunspot in in days of future past He's kind of like an older guy, and it's also set in the future. I think this is supposed to be set uh, at least in the 80s or 90s. Wait a minute. Are you saying that Fox might become inconsistent yes. with their X-Men characters in the movies? Blasphemy. What? Yeah, yeah so he hashtagged the, the actor's name. So are, are they actually going to use that actor in the same role? But I don't know. I, I just don't get that one. And then there's those rumors of Maisie Williams, Arya Stark on Game of Thrones playing Wolfsbane. And I'm all for that. Trump. It's a uh, honestly, it's a different. Uh, I think they got the name wrong. It's mm -hmm. it's not. Uh, you're thinking Sunfire. Oh, Sun Sunfire was in X Men: Days of Future Past. Sunspot is New Mutants. Ah. So I know it's the Sun, but it's a different character. Mm -hmm. So I think Sunspot. If you guys can correct us if I'm wrong, I believe he's Puerto Rican and he has this kind of like negative man, like weird, like you know, he turns like just like this like negative weirdo powers. And Sunfire has a power of flames and stuff like that. Do you so, like the, the, this? What I heard? love it. I think it's it sounds fantastic. I, you know, the New Mutants, when that came out, was I was in uh, high school and I loved every single one of these issues. <clears throat> Most of them were Bill Sienkiewicz. I really hope that it sounds like Boone is like taking a lot of uh, story elements from that original run, especially the ones with Bill Sienkiewicz, because he created Warlock, that weird biotechnical creature. I want to see magic with her little dragon, Lockheed. Any of the nerds out there know about this. It's a great magical series. It's different than X-Men. It has a totally different vibe. So I'm really looking forward to the new mutants, not only because it's in the X-Men world, but it's very, very different in a special way, I think. so. Uh, fans are saying that you're right. So it was Sunspot. Right. And Dave uh, okay, John. So you hear this news. First of all, I want to obviously get your thoughts on this. But does it? How is, do you think it's going to connect into the overall mm -hmm. X Men universe as well, too? Yeah. Look, we, we've joked around about a lot that Fox, even though they've made some magnificent X Men films, X Men One, X Men Two, First Class, Days of Future Past. So there is a, a seems to be a motto at Fox continuity schmontinuity and they they really have they seem to retcon every single new movie uh, they change they swap characters out this guy's Colossus no now this is Colossus this guy's Sabretooth no now this guy's Sabretooth so I mean how they're going to tie it in is almost anybody's guess are they even going to bother to try to tie it in I mean I just don't know the way Fox has been doing it so far look I've always loved Wolf Spain I thought she was great and look I always thought for a while during those or the early run I always kind of felt like Cannonball was almost being set up to be the new Scott Summers in mm. a way. You know, that he was going to be that right. future leader kind of type. And maybe in their movie universe, they can try to make up for the fact that they so mishandled Scott Summers in their movie universe, even in the great movies. They've just never done uh, Cyclops justice. So I'm really curious about this. We're starting to see now that these companies can start rolling the dice on the lesser known characters because now they've built so much brand awareness that maybe something like this can work and I really hope it does. Uh, apparently I was wrong. They're saying that Dennis was right and that Schnepp, uh, that I was, I guess I was not listening. They, uh, Schnepp, uh, Sunspot was not in Days of Future Past. No, I never said Sunspot. Was. I don't I know what the hell said Sunfire. 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 Was days, days of Future Past. Whatever. Um, okay, so for me, I'm gonna talk, I'm, I think that going off of what you're saying with X-Men, I think that they have to be conscious of the continuity this time around because of what has happened with Deadpool and now X-Men Universe. Because when they've switched things up in the past, everything was kind of a mess. 
-hmm. like the the entire kind of they were just trying to figure its way because it lost its way for a very long time and then first class got it got us back into x-men and led us into dates of future past and now into apocalypse and then deadpool hit that was able to tie in they're gonna they kind of scrap back um gambit so i think that they are very conscious of their continuity and i think they should play this into it because if they have a franchise that could work and these characters could work i think they should too yeah mm -hmm. then why not so hey guys if you like this clip click here to watch the entire episode also make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at collider